Hello, so today we're going over a two-man wire pull and what's expected on both ends of the wire pull to make it go smoothly and efficiently. Um, one thing to notice, I already have my you know, fish tape set up. I got my wire spool. I'm going to be, you know, the more senior electrician is usually the one who wants to be orchestrating the pull, and they're usually on the end that's feeding the wire. Um, with a two-man pull, communication is very important. Um, you need to make sure, you know, whether if you are in earshot of each other and you can just be calling out, that's fine. If the other person on the other side is somewhere they can't hear you, you need to have an uh, earbud in with your cell phone, uh, call each other. You got to make sure at all times during the pull, um, you're able to be in communication. So when doing a pull, and if I'm the lead man, I usually like to call out a sequence, usually a one-two pull. And I also like to keep it in a rhythm so that it's, you know, each, each party on the pull can go, I, I can expect it, it's a one, two, pull, one, two, pull. There's a rhythm to it so that everyone can be on the same page. One thing that's really important on the feeding side is to know that the fish tape and wire going through the conduit system, um, with all the bends and all the friction inside, it doesn't take much for me to hold on this side, for somebody on the other side to not be able to pull. So if the puller tries to pull, I'm barely holding this right now. He can almost not move it. So if we're doing it and he's sitting there trying to pull for a few seconds while I'm not quite pushing, and then I give him some wire, he's going to get really tired and at the end of the day really annoyed. So it's really important that you're at this, on the same page. Here we go. One, two, pull. 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 Good. Good. At this point, the guy on the other end says, I have wire. This is also a little tip. The guy on the other end is going to say, I have wire. If you are the one on the pulling side, you want to ask the senior technician, how much wire do I need? Sometimes, you know, he'll have a foot out, but in my head as the lead electrician, I know that I need at least five feet of extra wire because in the future I would be adding a seal tight whip and I need the wire to go all the way through the, the seal tight whip to the motor. So you want to be on the same page on those kind of things. Same with the, the wire side that's on the spools. How much wire do I need here? Do I need to pull out some extra? You know, just cutting the wire thinking you know what it is can be detrimental because I could cut it here saying, good, I have enough wire. And the lead technician says, hey, no, it was supposed to have six feet, so I need a seal tight whip. Just a little tip for the wire pull. And that's how you do a two-man wire pull.